Another thing when you're doing Qigong practice or anything actually is awareness of your um, head. When we are thinking and try to um, get something refined, we tend to, particularly adults, not the kids, tend to think in this way. And then that automatically put your head down um, and also tighten your eye nerve. So your neck, this part gets tight and therefore the weight of your head, which is about five kilogram, goes more distributed forward. Then that will make your this um, uh, this uh, movement backwards really difficult and also tend to go, for example, if you have this and thinking that way, it goes to my knee. This goes to more center. Okay, now, now for another part, uh, next difficult part is from neck wash touch to Sanchi touch. The Kanazawa sensei is particular about not moving the back or actually front when you move that way, but the left leg and move to Sanchi. So you've got to be careful of how you put the foot. If your foot is like that in neck wash touch, then it's not going to become Sanchi touch. Um, if it's too forward, once again, that will be very difficult. So make sure the back foot of the neck wash is 45. And he also says rotate on the toe rather than on the ball of the foot. So from here, it's, which I find it very difficult. And when you do also do this, you have to find the place of your sanjin that you feel most powerful against the wall. Sometimes we do way too much this, but if you actually feel that do too much of that, you're actually not putting any effort or put the weight against the person, you're actually putting against yourself and you just feel ah. Uh, so you gotta go to there. Okay, you do have a bit of compression but in a place that you can resist your opponent and you can put your power against the person you're blocking and attacking because this is a block block and attack. So, neck wash touch two. And then when you change front foot, it's that. This line is very difficult to feel the straight line. We often we don't really look from the side way. One or the other goes forward. So just use this practice and bring it up. I often practice that way, and then just feel the line. Of course, your people do this like from here to there. We go to the pubic bone area to center line. So it's up and just distribute it. So. This again, a tiny bit of that. And really feel the tricep, the dismus. Uh, core, buttocks, and here, there, so all of that goes in. And when you go this, really expand. If you're having a difficulties, um, stocky people and who does a lot of gym work, often the pecs are a bit too tight and you have really bulky arms, which is Wonderful to look at, but can be very difficult and you tend to lift your shoulder. So make sure, no matter how much muscle you have, that those muscles are quite um, elastic so that when you go up, you can pull all the way back and bring it in. Okay. And 
next video.